Hello today and we're going to take a look at um, 81 and what this is it's a ZX81 emulator not just a ZX81 emulator but we'll come to that later um, so first of all we're just going to show you this basic setup so basically it's not much to set up once you've loaded it up you're good to go um, so basically we have to do open your tape files and um, go to where you've stored all your tape files and load up your tape file so once that's done it's load it do that then that's it it's loaded up some occasions you might have to do the run command when it is loaded but that's it um, so you can save the tape if you wanna um, you've created a program I suppose you can save to tape maybe I don't know never use that feature anyway new tape when I um, I don't know what that really does but not really something I use load snapshot save snapshot um, really don't I think that uh, maybe could be load or save state I don't really know about that one load memory block save memory block save screenshot that um, obviously save something a screenshot is a bitmap file obviously exit the emulation zoom you can zoom in and zoom out or on 200% makes the screen a little bit bigger use defined border size so you can choose the border size so I've got it on normal invert video ah that's what that does <laughs> it changes the color from black to white or white to black uh, yeah the status bar so I've seen just this bar at the top here control soft reset hard reset I don't know what that does NMI don't know what that does um, pause is the emulator some of these are uh, uh, whatever these are Chrome card, but they're not highlighted so we can't do that ram pack wobble you know I don't know what that does um, configuration so Save configuration, configuration, or that's just eighty one. I don't know that resets it for some reason. Um, ports. Some reason these are not highlighted, even though I've got a joystick plugged in. Um, could um, the ZX eighty one support joysticks? I don't know. I never owned one, so never even used one. So this is tape source ZX manager wave loader. Obviously, you can load from Wave or the TZX Manager, a virtual tape drive destination. So you can obviously load from the source and maybe save from. I don't know. Maybe that's for saving. I don't know. Ports. Yeah, we just done that. I don't know why you can't. Why joysticks not selected? But perhaps that will come on if you select a different model, which I am going to show you. Beeper sounds on or off. I don't know the. Um, the ZX81 as sounds, um, but I don't know, it does when it's loading, but I don't know, I, I don't know much about the ZX81 display settings. Um, so you can change it from GD, GDI to direct draw. I would leave it, nothing really you need to mess about with. Um, display setting hardware now, this is the where you can select different um, ZX models, spec Spectrum or whatever. So we've got the ZX80, ZX81 which is we're on, 16K Spectrum, 48K Spectrum, 1 to 8K Spectrum or the QL. So you can choose um, expanding your RAM if you want all the way up to 48K. Um, settings gives us extra, sounds, so you can choose all different things there. Um, Sinclair, High resolution. Oh, I wouldn't touch none of this. Perhaps these are all different things. Kempston mouse. So different peripherals there. So oh maybe if you should, yeah something yeah because if you choose different things, some of them are not highlighted. ZX80. So keep it on ZX81. So these are all your Spectrum, your Sinclair models. We can go to Amstrad models, these are your Spectrum Plus 2, 2A and Plus 3, your Timex models, 
um, others, Jupiter Ace and others, and Ombro. So you can select a different whatever model you want, but I only use this for ZX81. Um, I use Spectacular for the Spectrum. Right, so that's that. So, oops. Um, so, yep, so keyboard. You can choose your different, um, whatever you want, your cursors. You can change this if you want, I just tend to leave it. Um, sounds. But I don't know if the ZX80, um, ZX81 ad counts, I'm not sure. Speed, speed. So this means you can speed up your emulator if you want. Um, TV emulation. Right, this one's an interesting one. So you can change um, how you want it to look. So if you want it to look like an old CRT TV, you can. Um, so you can have your ghosting on and off advanced effects so that changes the lines so you have your lines there but I'll turn it off but that's all up to you if you want to make it authentic if you can um, with the TV and ZX97 config well that's not highlighted so probably not a part of the emulation this or the ZX81 debug window um, if you're enthusiastic about this then you probably know what that is I don't so I'm not going to use it um, printer output so you can select a printer obviously <laughs> I don't know how that, that works sound output that's what that is don't do nothing tape manager so this um, so obviously you can, if you can hear if you want to hear it or not um, Flash load, if you've got that plug, it'll load as you saw it. If you turn that off, it'll load like a normal tape. Um, auto start stop and auto load on insert. So, pretty self explanatory there. Um, wave loader. So, I'm only guessing what this is. You can wave load from a wave file if you want to. Interesting because this. Um, what I was going before, I can't remember what it is, was it under? No, it was under something, but I can't remember now. Tape, was it? Source, yeah, so you can change from wave loader or destination, yeah. So if you want to use that, and your help. Keyboard map, well that, you get a keyboard. If you go to keyboard, so you can just maybe click, no you can't. It's just a mapping, so you can't really do it can't use it just tells you what keys do what and if you look at your PC you can keyboard I guess and help and that tells you about the, the software um, yeah so this is 2015 so it's a couple of years old this one uh, yeah I think if you use um, ZX81 I mean you can use it for the ZX80 or the Spectrum worth getting worth checking out or if you're lucky to have the original, that's great. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.